Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and as you can see here, a conifer for a change. So normally I think I never had a video before in which I showed a conifer or worked on a conifer. I have worked on conifers before, simply not on video beforehand, so I thought why not do it today, especially after finding this gold crest cypress, it's called, in a, a box store basically close by when just looking, browsing through, seeing if there is something I could work on and that catches my eye. And this little guy here did definitely because it is, at least it says so, um, also an in and an outdoor plant so you can also keep it indoor. And that's actually what I'm trying to do or I will try to do after repotting it, so taking it out of this pot, potting it up in a bonsai pot, pruning it a bit and depending on the shape maybe also wiring it a bit. So a lot planned for this video today and let's get right into it by taking it out of this pot that it came in. So let me move the pot to the side and give you a first initial look at the root mass, looking quite healthy, quite good. I will reuse most of the soil that you can see right here. I already prepared the pot here, which is basically simply a, a plastic container that I colored. So a training pot, definitely it's not a final pot where it would stay in years and years, but for its initial bonsai pot, this is normally what I go for. Inexpensive, you normally have them at home, just paint them, put some drainage holes in them and you're good to go. So that is what I'm going to use and I will already try to catch most of the soil in this one right away. So when we loosen up the soil now, I try to already put some of it in this pot. I did read up a bit about this genus beforehand and it says that the pot should be a bit on the larger side actually with this cypress simply because they are quite prolific when it comes to root growth. So they, they have a lot of root growth and very fast root growth. And for that, a bigger pot simply seems to be the best solution. So that's what I'm also going for. So let me get this to the side and really also simply opening up here the top layer of soil to see how deep it actually has been potted. It seems quite deep. So I'm trying to simply go now down to basically the root system where it starts here from the top to see if there is already some nebari or something that we can work with. So some root flare that we could incorporate into the design of the tree. The soil is very dense, but I did also read up that they are not very picky when it comes to soil, so those, those cypress trees. So it doesn't need to be like specific bonsai soil, I think as long as it's well draining, it doesn't hold, hold the moisture too long, it should be fine. They do like to stay in more moist soil anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem when it comes to these trees. The root mass is actually not as big I would, as I would have anticipated, so that is already interesting to say at least. Let me try to break it up a bit simply, getting any excess soil out still to really get a look at the root mass. But you can really see here from the top it has been put in quite deeply into the soil. So this is all very viable trunk that we can show on the tree and then the final design of the tree. And only now here I start to really come to the base where I can already see some roots at least, or some roots flaring from here. Very thin roots, luckily not any huge anchor roots in here that we would need to take care of and get rid of. So I think root pruning is not too big of a concern here, at least at the moment. Let's see if I can still find bigger roots here closer to the base. But for now, looks like an easy work on the roots at least. So I used to normally do this with chopsticks, but I do tend to, to, to find that sometimes it's really easier to just go in with your hands, cleaning up 
the soil out of the roots because it just gives you more control over it with the, the, the chopsticks or with a fork, for example, or a little rake. It is always a bit more difficult and I feel also a bit more damaging to the, to the roots sometimes. I mean, with, of course, when you go in with hands, still try not to rip out any roots. So really just basically fluff through them to get all the soil out. It might take a bit longer, but I think it really pays off because it leaves you really with an intact root system after you've done cleaning the soil out. So here we already are really at the base of the roots now, still trying to get any excess soil out. But looking really already very good. And as I said, you can see not really much root mess on it, so I will not go too, too hard on these roots. And probably not prune them at all, I would say. Let me see here, I think there's still some of those, those growing mesh that they often put into trees that are commercially grown, that they often leave on and then simply the roots grow through it. Something like, I hope you can see it, something like this here. So it's just some, some fabric they wrap around the roots often, which I try to remove at least when I still see it. And normally I think it rots after a while, but when you're already working on the roots, why not remove it by hand? So, I would say the roots are free and are done. And I would now try to position it already in the pot to give you an idea of how it would look before, of course, we prune it then still at a later point. But just seeing how it would look, what would be a good front and I think already now this is very much offering itself as the front because it simply is very open, slightly leaning also in this direction. So I think this would be a nice front. So let me move the tree to the side a bit. Still put some more soil in here, which is actually quite airy and fluffy. So I do take that back. I think it's mostly coco coir by the feel of it, which I have had quite positive experiences with in other trees, so I think, especially for conifer, it should also fare well in this one. So let me adjust it again. I also I didn't mention yet, of course, I also put in some wires through the bottom of the pot to anchor the tree. It is a quite shallow tree. The root system, as you can see, is not that well developed, so definitely makes sense to, to give it this additional anchor in the in the pot simply by, by really tying it in. Let me look at it. Maybe a bit higher or already fine like this. So I'm just trying to actually move it from the front, really get into the root system also and see if it will hold like this or if I need more wire, but I think it already is getting fixed quite nicely like this. So this is how it would look like. I still try when I tie it in to still give it enough space so the trunk can grow, roots can grow and, and still establish themselves better. But of course it should have at least some sort of stability in here. And then, as I said, I just use the old soil or the soil that came in again to fill up all the nooks and crannies inside the pot. That is also something I did read when looking at cypress as a species that they do prefer if you do not change the complete soil. So at least try to incorporate some of the old soil into, into a new mixture if you repot it. It seems the trees definitely benefit from that. So let me just put this a bit down here so I can really go in there and fill out all the areas and also apply some pressure on it because of course I want this all to settle in and really fill it out. And for that it's always easier to, to basically pressure, press it against 
the surface you have in your tree on simply to, to already stabilize it this way. And make sure you fill really out all the little areas and air pockets that might form underneath. So, showing you how it looks like in its pot. Definitely holding so I can move it. Of course, it's shaking because it simply is a very tall tree, but it's not jumping out of the pot anytime soon. So just give me a second to clean up here and also adjust the camera a bit and then we will look into pruning. So once again, here we have the potted up tree and now I really still want to go in a bit and I thought about wiring it, but first I want to give it a slight prune to get simply a better look also at the tree and see if we will stick with the shape it has. So it is of course in nature always trying to grow upwards very much and it gives it this cone-like shape. Either we stick with that shape or maybe we will try to make some smaller adjustments to it. So I do think it fits the tree, it will be its natural growing pattern anyway, so we might really stick with that. From the beginning you can already see this one here is stunted growth also growing in the wrong direction and very very low here at the base so I'm trying to get out as much of it as possible. Also this one here, this one is actually a higher up one that grows very much downwards that we need to take out from higher up. You could also pieces like this or maybe even a bit bigger then try to propagate, taking off lower branches and sticking it in soil. Not sure I will try or attempt to do this with this one. We will see if I find like a good cutting after pruning, I might also try to propagate it. Also this one here I will take out. Here we do also have a lower branch that is quite high up. And I think I would not take this one out because as you can see it covers a lot of this area here. It actually provides a great depth also from the other side if we turn it around. So I would not take this one out at the moment. But what I would do looking from this side is definitely shorten here also the growth a bit because it's becoming a bit too bushy from this side. So just taking out some of the growth tips here on this side. simply giving it this conical shape that it had beforehand and make sure it keeps this conical shape also long term. Here in the back also and I think also a bit on this side actually shortening the tips a bit simply. I do have it a bit leaning but I kind of like that look actually. I think especially from here you can see this sort of leaning look that I find kind of interesting or we might actually work with that and do give it some shape. We could do that. So really just wire and give it some more shape. So let me just look into the tree itself and where we would have potential side branches if we really go in wiring this one. And we do have good, good Good potential branches for wiring here so definitely we can go in here have a lower branch down here some bigger branches then in here and maybe the top also just some some movement i think could actually do this tree quite well so i think we will go that way so just let me grab some wire and probably enough like that and really try to to give it a bit of an interesting shape. As I said, anyway, this was a, an accidental find basically at a box store, so not much lost here. And it looks already now interesting. Why not improve on its shape a bit more than actually first anticipated? Of course, giving it a look from all the different sides before I now really decide to wire because even from here it's very, very interesting. Can provide some depth here. 
but I would do the initial wiring. I hope I have enough wire, but I think this should be fine for at least the beginning. I will anchor it within the pot simply and within the root mass and try to slowly make my way around the trunk to really have the possibility then to, to give it the desired movement. Of course, for that, I need to apply the wire quite close to, well, to the entire tree, basically. <laughs> but it is always a bit difficult, especially now that we still have a lot of growth on it to go through with the wire. But the tighter we do this now, the better it will be and the, the more easy and the more stable it will be then to really apply the rest of the wires and form the tree. Just making sure I'm not trapping any big branches underneath here that will stunt the growth or might even, even kill some branches in the long term. But I think for now I have avoided most of them. But we're also not yet in the really difficult parts here, so let's see. It's a very, very dense tree, which I do like. And many of those conifers come like this, so always when working on conifers, you have a lot of growth to choose from. You might go even in the beginning a bit too crazy and taking out half the tree and then realize it looks a bit bare, so that is what I'm trying to avoid today, definitely. But we will definitely also need to take out one or the other side branch still here. Just that is something that will not be avoidable. I'm running a bit out of wire here, but I'm not sure if I keep any with the entire top of the tree. And now it's just try to give it some more shape and just a slight bend. I don't want to go too crazy on it, to be honest. But just some movement that makes it a bit more interesting. And then, of course, we will still continue wiring some of these side branches that really create some depth then and some more form to the tree. So here, these ones we can already take out a bit, cleaning up the trunk line. It is quite hard to bend, I must say. It's more than I expected. But as I said, we go for a slight bend, not like crazy S-shaped trees here. What I haven't mentioned is actually the smell of this variety. It's also called, I think, lemon cypress, and it really holds true to that name. It smells very much like lemon. So I think we'll take out the slower one here because there's two very close to each other. Yes, this one hanging down. This we will wire, and I will probably try to link it with the one up here. So, once again, we apply the wire. I will try to anchor it first on the trunk. So with this side here, mm, it's actually a bit too short if I think about it because the other one is quite long up there. So we think I will need a bigger piece of wire. So I'm going to just cut like a longer piece here. I'm still horrible at, at sometimes measuring the right length of wire because it's hard for me to really say if it should be enough or not but worst case i have wire then cut that i will apply to another area so nothing lost nothing wasted so here is the actual branch that i meant that i want to wire it with Trying again to work my way around it. And 
then anchoring it a bit at the end here. And of course, not to forget the rest of the wire down here also that we have to put the side branch in position or in the desired position that we will see in a second. So simply want to spread this one out a bit and also this one slightly down here, already opening it up a bit. It is definitely too long still, the side branch. So first of all, I will take some of the undergrowth out here. So there is a lot of the growth on the lower side now simply by nature because that's was on the outside of the tree basically beforehand. So we simply take out most of the growth that goes downwards here. Very roughly simply taking it out. Also this one as it's died back anyway a bit. And then I would also like to still shorten the growth here a bit. and creating an initial or second side branch actually. This one is a bit too low, so I'm trying to still move it up here a bit. Again, taking out the lower growth here on this side, but still leaving on the rest for later. So I think we did lose the bend here a bit, so let me reapply some force to the wire that we put on and have it this way. Um, let me see here if we can still bend it a bit, give it a bit more of a curve. And also here, let me also already shorten the tree a bit. So you'll know later on how tall I actually want the tree to be. In its final form, here we can go down a bit. As I said, I don't want to wire and put on and prune back too much of the tree now. Simply giving it an initial form basically, but not necessarily already going completely in and completely changing the form of the tree. For example, this one here I will Hmm. It's coming from a very unfortunate place, actually. And I do actually, looking it, at it like this as the front more than the other side now, thinking about it and looking at it in more detail. Oh, but I think that is anyway the first intended front. <laughs> Just we bend it so much it was not fully sure now. Uh, but the question is, do we take out this entire branch right here because it really does hinder us from seeing too much of the other branch. I'm cleaning it up a bit, not taking it out fully already now, but at least looking at it a bit, giving us a bit of a better view here. But I wouldn't take it out. I would rather wire it also with the one here in the back. And now I can reuse the wire I cut before that was the wrong size and apply it, basically going once around to fixate again on the trunk. And then moving over to this branch here. So it actually also holds then and not get too loose simply by not having the anchor on the trunk. This one we also will need to shorten because of course once you wire them out you actually see how tall and how long these branches actually are and that gives you then a great great way of still pruning it back and really sticking to a size that fits better to the tree or to the rest of the tree at least and to your design of course that you have in mind for it which <laughs> for me is very much when I work on trees like that, where I'm not fully sure yet how it will end up, it's always basically just go with it and see in which direction it takes you. But that is somehow also something I really enjoy about 
working on trees because they do surprise you and you surprise yourself in in ways that you then look at certain trees and how they could potentially look and that is in my opinion at least one of the beauties of working on trees and turning them into bonsai so we're still very very much congested here i see so let me try uh, to take some of this growth that i also now see have trapped a bit underneath here that is too close to the main trunk of the tree here actually so i'm trying to still take it out just clearing it up a bit and cleaning it up a bit also because it will improve the look of the tree tremendously simply taking out this growth here and as i said with conifers it's so easy to trap some of those smaller branches underneath the wiring and it will just look congested so do keep a mind keep keep some focus on that also also here you can see this is basically just from the side branch some trapped foliage that we can simply free up this time we don't even have to take it out this one we just free up leave on for now but it clears out all this of the side branches that we still have to now nah, i will wait with shorten it a bit yet because i will see how much foliage it gives us here on higher branches still because we of course go for a triangular shape now hmm. one of the two here can probably take out i would take out the lower one here opening it up a bit giving it a bit of a bend still but not too much as i said i don't want to look at too unnatural And then probably just wire out one or two of the slower ones. They will develop into stronger side branches in the future. Especially this one here. And then. So it would still apply some more wire at higher branches here. Probably at this one. The lower ones here I would. As they are not even hardened yet. Not wire because they will probably break off if I try to wire them now. So we'll let those grow freely and also decide at a later point which of, for example, here the two back ones I will keep, or if I keep them all. But up here, this one definitely I should wire still because it also helps us in achieving a triangular look on the tree. I'm just looking with which one I could wire it. It's one of the lower ones here, not really a bit congested here, so I might take one or two out still here. Hmm, probably with the one up here actually, so let me see how much wire we take. Which hopefully it will fit this time. <laughs> and once again, try to go at least once around the main trunk here to give it stability a bit more so it would go a bit further down and maybe even go around another time here as we do not want to wire this other one too much anyway I don't need too long a piece of wire here so I just need like some anchoring to spread out this one just basically as a directional wiring just showing it in which direction it should go and then go in here on the actual this one should go underneath i just see and here on the actual branch that is the focus for us right now in this wiring here giving it a nice bend Making sure we don't trap all of the growth in it, even though it's really difficult with conifers. One more around. Give it a bit of a twist. And making sure we achieve 
an initial S shape here. Some smaller branches here will still try to get rid of. So now I'm really just cleaning it up a bit, making sure it's not too congested. Of course, right now you don't really see the different paths that much yet because I do not want to take too much out. We, had, we did just also repot this tree, so I don't want to go too hard on it. Just shorten it a bit. But I think in general, you will see already in which direction the tree will go in the future, what are potential paths in the future. And that is something I'm, I'm quite happy about, I must say already now. Here, I feel it is a bit too congested still, so we should probably decide which ones we take out. So definitely this one. And one of those two up here, the higher one, which is the smaller one, and at not the best position anyway. So we take this one out. Already cleans it up here also a bit, making sure we maybe water this a bit more in this direction, moving that more into a backward position, giving it depth. Here, as I said, it's a bit too soft and malleable that yet to wire. So I will give it probably another year or so before I wire these branches more in this area. Also here, then later on deciding which one to take out, even though we can take out this one right away. As we have another one right above it. Also this one here could open up the look on the tree a bit more. So we also take this one out. And for now, I think that's enough pruning. It should be enough pruning anyway. We changed the form of the tree more than I first anticipated, which is often the case when I go on repotting. So it often becomes more drastic than I first anticipated. But I think at the moment still, definitely a first good styling of this tree, giving it some shape trying to give it still a bit more of a bend. So I will probably reapply and keep reapplying pressure to this tree in the long term still, because the form of the trunk could still be a bit more drastic, giving it a bit more character. I don't want to go too far now because I don't want to snap it. So probably after a while, once it's settled in a bit more already in this new form, then reapply the wire on the trunk and again improve the shape a bit and a bit. So it is still quite thin so there is no need yet to, to really rush any wiring. So should be fine until now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the look of this tree. If you have any questions about it, uh, of course leave them in the comments. You will definitely see more of this tree and how it is faring. As I said, I will keep it indoors. Hopefully this works out for it. We'll keep you updated on that and I hope I will see you in the next video then. Until then, goodbye.